Okay, well hello, it is the weekly Sumo Platform meeting. We should get started. I put the link to the Etherpad in Pound Sumo. Um, first up from last week, Ebay and Ricky to write up a plan for development over the next month. And there was things underneath that about changes behind a waffle flag, remove the task base nav from support.mozilla.org and per product IA trees. Do you guys want to explain this? What we're doing? There's more over the next month, but so Ricky, you want to explain it? Because you've done all the work already. <laughs> Ricky, you have some explaining to do. What are we talking? La, la, la. <laughs> What do you what, what what is it the topics? The, just yeah. the the plan over the next uh, the couple plan. of weeks. The yeah. plan over the next couple of weeks. Um. So we're we're changing topics to be product based, right? Um. That should land. Uh. I was I can land it soon here, uh, and then we're gonna test it. Uh, Eva, you're coming to the office or? Yes, I'll be there in after this meeting. Okay. So we can test it today and whatever, yeah. decide what to do. And then um, we're working on redesigning the landing pages, the topic landing pages. And then we're working on alerts, site-wide alerts for Firefox OS mostly at this point. And then what was the other thing? The other thing already landed, right? Oh, AAQ. Remove, and also remove the task base nav. Which you've done, but it's oh, behind a flag, right? That, no, no, that's done and done. No, that's live. That was a pre-requirement for doing all the other work. Because oh. so here's the thing: the the reason why we created, and probably the, everyone in this room knows that, but the ones watching at home may not know. The reason why we created the topics that are relevant to multiple products, it's because we had this concept of task-based navigation that is is a, is is better name probably a task-based navigation initiation so instead of you starting on, on a product you start on on the type of task that you're trying to achieve with whatever topic that or whatever product that Mozilla has uh, that that was great a year and a half ago when we did all the analysis and all the user research today with with a phone uh it's it's a little bit less true because firefox os is a completely different beast to firefox for android or firefox for desktop so if we wanted to have different trees for different products where the topics were different for depending on the product we needed to kill that concept that all the to all the products have the same topics at the high level so that was the prerequisite that ricky and Ricky actually worked on killing yesterday. And the home page looks much better now. Yeah, yeah. It's now the now it's last home is just focus on select a product and keep moving. Uh, we're not offering you multiple things in that page because the the rich content page is the one about the product. It's when we allow you to download the product, we show you hot topics, we show you topics, we show you hot threads. Ricky say what? You're mute. Sorry, my video is just acting up. Ignore my face. Oh, oh, he was like, what? <laughs> I was right talking about it like, what? Uh, so yeah, the, the plan basically for the next month uh, is that we're going to be launching this topic uh, architecture today behind the flag. Uh, the Sumo team is going to be testing that the content is properly migrated to new, uh, to this new tree until yeah. next Monday. Uh, if everything goes okay, if the content looks fine, we will remove the flag on Monday. And then we will have the contributors uh, have the ability to, or anyone ba basically coming to the Sumo, to have the ability to, to see how that's working. And if something is not working, please just let us know. Uh, in, in this interim, 
there's going to be some funkiness about how to move content around because uh, you're going to be able to to move the content move articles in the new architecture but not in the in the previous one in the one that is live today so if there is anyone who has the urgency to move something in the actual architecture just uh, please hold on until tuesday and that's now is when we need ricky yeah and he's gone i was hoping but roland, monday roland wants to say something monday Sorry? The we have to test it by monday the 17th is that what you mean yes please okay i love working weekends no i'm just kidding it's no, I mean, on there now right roland it should it should be like one hour or two of work tops uh if you don't have time to do it by monday uh we can push it to tuesday or wednesday like no, no, let's we go have... for monday unless you get a panic email from me at mid at 11 59 p.m on sunday don't work on a weekend Rob. no no uh so, fine so i, I forgot seriously tomorrow. i i'll take it tomorrow off but that's why i have to do it it's not a problem don't worry like, I, if, if I like you if you and Michelle are off tomorrow and you can't look at it today, let's let's aim for Tuesday. Seriously. So here's what I think we should do. Uh, is Michelle going to be in the office? Do you know? I don't know. Okay. Maybe. Well, um, I think we can verify this without everybody looking at it. All we have to do is pull up one browser with, with the flag on and one browser with the flag off and click on all the scenarios and make sure the the content is it should be the uh, same. I'll, yeah, we can do that. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty open today. So you mean like one person logged in as us, as uh, uh, Subo staff, and one person not logged in, and then yeah, yeah. I think we can do it together and and verify yeah, everything. Per window so, private browsing, perfect use case. Uh, or have yeah, whatever you want. Ricky, Just, let's oh. let's do it together. Yes, but I, I just want to yeah. Uh, don't but, worry. But you gotta. <laughs> okay. So, it should be all good. Uh, but again, I I think that an extra sunny, an extra eyes from Michael, Roland, and Michelle will be will be nice. Even though it used to say, yeah, this all looks great. So, Ricky, can um can I ask you though, um, while we have this uh two systems in place we have a old tree new tree thing what's the deal about um for for contributors for editors and reviewers what are they going to see are they going to they're going to be you can't change topics for a few days how's that what's the deal with that uh it'll it'll be normal but it's whoever can edit documents all right can edit those things so if you have the permission to to click the edit description and see all that stuff, uh, yeah, it's based on that's the permission, right? That, right. That's that's grouped for certain users. Right. I forget which group it is. Right. Yeah, me too. But so if you can open that up, will you be able to change topics? You won't be able to change topics. Yeah, yeah, you can. So, but it only right now changes it in the new version. So. Right now, it's gonna show both. Like it's gonna show all the checkboxes for the old and all the checkboxes for the oh, new. Oh, okay. So you'll be able to compare there, um, but it's gonna be huge, and we have to work on that UI later. Right. Right. Well, as soon as we make the new thing live, the old thing will go away. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have to delete the old code yeah. for that to go. Away. Yeah. But. But I kept them both there, so you can go and compare the stuff and Got whatever. You. And okay. is the UI different? Sorry, I haven't been uh, looking at the book. No, it's going to be the same as what we have. It's just that you have more options, right? It's just that there's going to be more topics and they're grouped by product. Right, right, right. right. Okay. So it'll be like four feet long, but for especially to begin yeah. with. Yeah, we, we, I mean, we can, I didn't bother like on the UI, like polishing it, but it can be way better, but I didn't want to spend time on that right now. Yeah. Cool. Questions? Any so, more yeah. questions about that? Sorry, Ebay. What were you saying? No, that is a follow up on, on that. Do I think that that's something that we'll be working on Later. in the next quarter? Yeah. yeah. 
the most important thing is to fix the user facing part. Yeah. Because, you know, we, we can tolerate some level of pain. Okay. Um, so let's see. So this part is actually done. I should do that. So it's done. Uh, okay. So the next thing was um, roll in an e byte to document new topic admin. So it's not even here yet. So. Yeah. Right. But uh, e byte, I think that's kind of And uh, yeah, I think that will. Yeah, that will come later, and and I'm not even sure if it's if we should do this un, until we figure out how the the new administration model is going to work. If we're going to have if the articles are going to be moved through the edit article, or we're going to create a different view, we can we can document what it is today just to make sure that we create that habit of documenting and everything. Uh, but Roland, yeah, let's. I, I totally, this is my fault. We should have at least put something together. Let's let's meet next week to, to talk about how we want to uh, well, move forward. Well, uh, Michael's already documented existing system, so we can use that as a basis for you can, our prediction. You might be able system. to update some of that, because I did things like, um, you know, creating topics and subtopics and what parts you have to fill out. I mean, there's a few things that, <laughs> I don't know. 10% of that that you could reuse, but you know, it also give you an idea. Yeah, I, I think we should have, I'll do an etherpad, but then we'll eventually make it into a real article. I think right now it's way too early to do a real article. You're right, you buy. Yeah. But we should start our sort of skeleton etherpad and then we'll, we'll just modify Michael's article, right? And we can launch the new system. Yep. Okay. Right, so that's the next thing was, uh, so last week, uh, uh, Michelle asked for a documentation of how things work today. So that's there. Um, let's see that. Um, the next thing was, this was in reference, if you were at the meeting last week, about the mock-up of topics that I did on Alizom. But I crossed it all out because we are literally going to, it'll be fixed as part of doing all this work that we're doing over the next week. Um, so no sense in it would just add confusion. So I would cross that out. Um, next thing, next steps for hot questions. There's a contributor thread there. We just um, briefly talked about that this morning. Madalena, do you want to yeah, talk about so that? Yeah, so basic, yeah. So the discussion is still going. So whoever has opinions, please go on there and share it with us. Uh, we're probably going to, um, to aim for a manual uh, option. I'm going to bring more details um, later in the thread. Uh, but taking into consideration all the feedback that we got from computers, this seems to be like the best way to go right now. Um, and it should be like a fairly simple solution, just adding a tag or something like that. So not a lot of work, but of course we still need to set up all the details. So yeah, everything will be in the thread. Just you know, follow the thread and uh, participate in the conversation. Oh, and of course we need Kadir back. <laughs> I forgot to say that he will be away for another week. Um, so there will be no final decision basically until he's back and provides all his input. Sorry, I'm writing that down. Yeah, no worries. So, Michael, I thought you weren't going to record this using the uh, vigil facilities because it was awkward. Is it less awkward or? No, no. You change your so, if I'm not posting it on YouTube, which I usually, I before had never posted this on YouTube, it's actually easier to just hit the record in the video thing and. Are you not posting this on YouTube? I could. You know, it's just trying to eliminate one more thing to do, you know? Compress the video, okay. upload to YouTube, wait for the link. All right. You know, not hard, just... Oh, so this... Oh, I see. So this is already on... You can find this on Vigio. Yeah. 
Yeah. It, it saves you the 25 minutes of uh, editing and uploading. Yeah, all exactly. All right. Since I don't know how to do this, maybe somebody could point me to docs. Okay, next. Sorry. No, no. I mean, that's a good question. I think uh, what we need to do, Ebi, this is probably something we should file a bug for, is to make mm -hmm. everyone on the on the staff an admin of like the Sumo video room. Because I think you have to be an admin of the Sumo video room to be able to hit record. And okay. maybe I'm the only one who's an admin. I don't know if Rosanna or Madalena are admins of this room even. Is it even possible to do to have multiple admins? I don't even know. Well, I, I don't think it's admin. so flexible. We should ask. No, I think I think it is. I have no idea. Uh, yeah, let me let me ask the desktop people. Those are the ones who manage this, right? Yep. Okay. Um, next was a question that uh, came up when Roland and I were talking. We may have a, a need for um, documents that only apply to certain locales um, and not in English. And I said, I could have sworn we accounted for that when we built Kitsune, but I had no idea how we may have implemented that. And I was playing around with it today, this morning, um, Roland, and um, it's basically uh, super simple. You go to the, like, create a new article in the locale that you want to create a new article. So I put as an example there, like the, the new article page, but just in the German locale. And you create that article and then that article will exist like in German and it can't be localized in any other locale and it, and it doesn't show up anywhere except in the German locale. Super simple. Okay, so the reason we need this, just to refresh everyone's memory, is that we have Yandex, Firefox for Android on Yandex, which is Russian only as far as I know. So, uh, Rosanna and Madalina, maybe we could take this offline. We can, I can find a Russian contributor to write this very simple article that I can outline in English. Um, and then we could ask that person to translate it by going through Michael's steps here. Be, if you wanted to translate anything, I'll send him an email or her an email saying, hey, here's what I think should be in the article. Just write, go ahead and write it by going hitting this URL. Right, Michael? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can, so I I can give you the contact for um, the Russian community. Change DE to RU, right? So, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um, these are a couple of questions that SatDev um, added. Are we going to add Persona? We have already. We just haven't made it a visible product that you pick from the home page uh, just because. Persona has very few users at the moment, and uh, there's the in-product link to the help in Persona, which is the use case for most people. So, um, But it's there uh, if you go to product slash Persona. Um, when are we going to oh mobilize like the contributor side of Sumo? Um, I looked at Kadir's Trello roadmap thing and that looks like it's at least tentatively you know because we haven't locked down the fourth quarter but it's on the it's tentatively in the list for Q4 and that's things like the I think uh, you guys correct me if I'm wrong that's things like um, answering questions on a mobile device or um, the contributor forums from a mobile device those kind of things is that right I don't know. I think so. We, we, that may be a, a question to uh, more details to come from Kadir when he's back. I'll add that. Um, let's see. The last thing uh, that's on the list, at least at the moment, is um, hot topics. So I was looking at the, at the, at least for desktop, the hot topics. And, you know, there's a big difference in views of the top hot topics and the bottom hot topics. And Matt and I were talking about this uh, the other day, like the, the built-in PDF viewer. Whew, I mean, 
that's hardly anything. That's over 30 days, 14,000 views. We can remove that. Um, and Babylon just keeps going down and down and down. Um, yeah. And it's so it doesn't even rank as a top article anymore. Um, so uh, we thought we can remove that and just, you know, monitor questions in the forums if we're just seeing like, oh my God, there's just all these questions of, that we keep telling people, here's the article for Babylon, here's the article for, then we'll just put it back. But it doesn't seem like uh, that's likely to be the case. So I'm going to remove those two. Uh, from Hot Topics, and we'll see how it goes. Which would be nice. It's actually... <laughs> the the awesome thing about this, you guys got to get, like... Before Flash went crazy last summer, <laughs> right? Babylon was the number one issue on Sumo. And then it became <coughs> slightly number two after Flash. And has stayed there until the last couple of months. And that's because the user advocacy team changes that, that we've done in Firefox and with working with the Babylon developers to change the way the, uh, the, the, way the add-on behaves. And we've got more to come, too. So I don't know if you guys saw the email about the Google Summer Code projects, but we're actually uh, creating new APIs for add-on developers that uh, enforces them to play nice, whether they like it or not. So... Uh, <laughs> We won't be relying just on, on them to be upstanding citizens. Is this squeaky? Yep. Yeah. <sighs> you guys and your code names. <laughs> but is it the Babylon Tuber or is it still the Windows Media Player article? Is the Babylon, how to remove Babylon Toolbar, right? Correct. Because the, the top, top, top used to be, the way we identified that was with the Windows Media Player article that it's like, oh, this Windows Media Player is so popular. And it was because the Babylon Toolbar people were coming to that article. I believe Crazy. they've they've actually changed their link and no longer point to it anymore. Yeah, I, too late. We already got right. them. <laughs> of course, there's there's uh, new uh, issues with the uh, uh, Windows Media Player in that. Uh, Matt, do you know this deal? We changed the default location of add-ons or something. Uh, I think it's part of the work in Squeaky. But, you know, Microsoft hasn't updated the, um, the um, I mean, they stopped updating the Windows Media plugin years ago. Right. Like, I don't know, four or five years mm -hmm. ago. Um, so now um, it's, in the, it's in the wrong place and gets disabled in Firefox 21 or 22 or something. Right. So, yeah, I think Tyler's been involved in those conversations, so you might want to reach out to him. He'll have more details on that. Yeah. Um, amazingly, in 27 minutes, that's everything on the list. Does, uh, is there anything yeah. else that people want to talk about, have questions about? Uh, the Blackboard rocks. Our volunteers rock. I'm just in a rocking kind of mood. Cool. Uh, there is. Colin. I'm sorry, I missed it. I missed the the reference to the persona. I think that when Shadab talks about persona, it's about having persona as a login system, not as a topic. Oh, right. But I thought we had a bug for that. I just don't know. I haven't memorized the list of persona bugs for Kitsune like I have Thunderbird and Firefox and Android. Uh, yeah, this is, the thing is that it's a, an ongoing conversation. It's definitely a bug that should be filed. Whether or not we do it, it is up. It, it, there, there is a bug for that, and, and there yeah. is a bug with a bunch of comments so that, on it. Yeah. I think that's a separate meeting because it's like Premier's platform roadmap meeting. That's where we have to like talk about issues like this, right? Yeah. But it's good to bring it up. Because yeah. it is kind of weirdish that we don't support it, but we have our reasons. All right, so this is complicated. Yeah. Uh, it, there is a bug it's a, for it's it. A, it's a complicated decision. Jack shaving so I think, Ricky, correct yeah. me if I'm wrong, but the, the idea is that either we support Persona and the actual login system or 
or persona by itself. The former is tricky, the later is easier. Yeah, but then it's a migration either way, right? Migrations are hard or messy, maybe not hard, messy. Messy, yeah. Uh, uh, what, what, wait, what, what's a migration? What, what, what? To persona. Uh, you're migrating users anyway to persona in one of these scenarios. There's no migration because there's no migration to persona. The problem, like once you go persona, you can't go back, right? Because it's a it's a mess. Because if people log into persona, you don't have a password for them or anything, um, and it. It's a pain to support both systems at the same time because if they log in with Persona and try to use a password, it's never going to work. Um, so Nothing. the best thing is to say, "Hey, we're going Persona, and that's it." And everybody has to start over. No. But there's no migration because we have all the all you need is an email address, and we have that. So we just delete all the passwords, and that's it. Right, right. There's no migration in our our world, but in the users' world, it rocks their world, perhaps, and not in a very legend. yeah. It's a, it's a pain for all the users that don't have a Persona account and want to ask a question because they have to go. Well, I don't know. I haven't signed up for Persona recently, so maybe it's easy now. But no. yeah, I think that the we our flow is a little bit more optimized. So the main question is: this is more a strategic question than a functional question, because I don't think that we gain anything from moving to Persona because there are not that many Persona users out there that may ask questions with us yet. Uh, again, strategically, it makes sense to support Persona because we want to be we want to be a driver of adoption. But it complicates well, the ask a question flow at the moment if you don't already have a Persona login. So it complicates a little bit okay. if you don't have a Persona account. It simplifies dramatically if you have a Persona account. Right. I think so that's but for for our users at least who are asking questions uh, almost all of them don't have a persona account yeah yeah Rick you're right it's technically not a migration I used the wrong word but it's a user it's a user shock minor shock I guess I guess yeah it sucks for a user that already had an account and don't doesn't have a persona account and they have to come in and they can't sign in the normal way anymore. And the truth is that we could sit with, and this is something that is probably pending in the in the list, is sit with Crystal and maybe Ben, Adida, and just talk about what we have, what we need, where we are, where are they, and how can we make it work? Because yeah. they're flexible on, on adding features to the to the roadmap and just implementing things. So it's just a matter of telling them, hey, in order to implement this, we need X, Y, Z. Uh, and one of the things I think is the ability to validate the account at the later stage, something like that. I really don't know. Because the whole flow of just. You know what? It sounds like we should yeah. talk about this at our work week with a real user would even be better, like a gesture in the room. Um, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe just in the next work week, have a, a, a persona person, and we can like hash these issues out. So and come up with a strategy. Just thinking of that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, to be to be fair and to be honest, I haven't put that much thinking on it. I I know that Kadir has been the one thinking a lot about persona. And he concluded that from the user point of view, it doesn't make that much sense. But again, I think it, it, it strategically, as a company, it's, a, it's an organization we're trying to promote this new open login system, we should uh, push for it. Yeah, and I, I think we should have a plan for it, and we don't. So, yeah. And I think it should be like, Whenever, whenever it makes sense with the rest of the Mozilla .org properties, right? Yeah. So let's 
I don't want to leave this there and as it has happened in the past and I would love to have a proper conversation maybe in a couple of weeks uh, where anyone interested can come. So let's, let's do this. After Kadir comes back, we, we meet in a, we meet with the guys from Persona in a public meeting. Whoever contributor wants to join, it's more than welcome. And we talk about the possibilities, the pros, the cons, and the possible implementation. Does it yeah. make sense? Yeah, start the conversation now and so that we're not like someone doesn't come around and say, hey, how come you guys don't have a plan? Which is going to happen. Because we, we have been, this topic has been around for probably a year or yeah. a year and a half. I remember talking to Dan Mills back in the days and yeah. that was like probably a year and a half ago. Uh, and the thing is that we have the conversation, we have a quick chat, we open a couple of bugs and we never do anything. So I think that it's, it's a good idea used to, to have this conversation and to come up with a conclusion of, okay, can we implement it today? Yes or no. And if it's a no, it's like, what are the requirements that we need to make sure that we can implement it in the future? Because the way we have done it, it's been like, uh, no, we're not quite ready because X, Y, Z. Uh, but we we're not setting up the requirements that we are we need to make sure that we can implement it and maybe implementing it it's going to require to have i don't know 10 million users in persona we can say yeah until persona is not really popular we don't we don't want to start using it and that's a fair assumption but at, at least we have the all the requirements so the persona team knows a, any 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 person from the community who wants to push for it knows and we all know because otherwise we always use talking about the same talking points make sense yep. i'm assuming that that's a yes yes, yeah. yes. okay Sorry, I'm typing. That's it. I'm going to take the opportunity to go and see Ricardo Rosario. <laughs> All right. I guess that's it. Thanks, everybody. Have fun. Bye. Ciao, you. Have a great day.